it's cute. This bitch right here reminds me of a first lady. So I'm gonna have y'all call me motherfucking first lady pops today. I'm first lady. Cue my motherfucking music. are you all to, on this wonderful terrific day okay so if you are tuning in for the first time you have tuned into robert demarco cooking up and pumps or cooking up and pumps with robert demarco i don't even know the name of my own motherfucking show but thank you for tuning in like share and subscribe so like this video share this video and subscribe to my channel so you can see me cooking even more and doing other things or whatever if you are a diehard pumper, thank you so much for tuning in again. If you've been with me, ride with me, roll with me since the Alfredo Potato uh, video. Hey, boo. I love you. I miss you. I hope you all had a wonderful holiday weekend. I did. My mama came and seen me. My grandmother came and seen me. My sister came and seen me. My daughter had a birthday. My Easter came through. My dinner was good. All that bullshit happened all in one weekend. So, you know, I had to take some time off and do some, a couple things or whatever. But I'm back, bitches. Okay. okay. Understand this. So. Today, we're going to be making something. Now, previous to um, Easter, I was doing my series of story time, which was very cathartic, very therapeutic for me. I was very able to get some things out and share some things. So those times will be coming back. Um, but today, we're going to be making something. I'm not cooking shit, but I'm making something. I had to pull some out of my old repertoire that I think you guys are worthy of me pulling out of retirement for. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this dish out of retirement. It, I can give you a hint. It includes strawberries. But before we get to that, let me go ahead and introduce you all to my supporting cast. You know that this show is called Up and Pump, so there must be a pump. Pumpers. It's got to be a pump. That's the supporting cast. So let me show you this bitch. Okay? Ooh. There she go. Beach. About six and a half, seven inches. The bitch is bad. It's gold around here. Oh, whatever. It's silk. It's like real silk. Excuse the knocking. Somebody texted me. But it's real silk or whatever. And it's a cork heel. You know, it's cute. This bitch right here reminds me of a first lady. So I'm going to have y'all call me motherfucking first lady pops today. So I'm first it's lady. It's funny because I've been telling my best friend all week, bitch, call me first lady. I don't know why I'm just crazy like that. And I'm shaking the table trying to get this motherfucking shoe on. But I'm sorry. Anyway. First lady. I told him to call me first lady. And come to think about it, you know, if I was a first lady of a, you know, I would wear shoes like this. I'll be a badass first lady. I'll be a bad bitch come scooting out there every motherfucking Sunday. I'm not going to be no first lady that's wearing Debbie's or salmon patties or motherfucking moon pies for no motherfucking shoes, little bitty dark ass heels. Not doing that. I'm going to wear these. So this is how I would be right up in church. Like, you know, like somebody's first lady. Like, hey, sitting pushed up like this. Clap your hands and praise the Lord. Lord, we praise you. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we love you. We got a reason to praise you, Lord. I don't know about you. You ought to be thankful. Lord, we praise you. You got to have the So, that's that. So, here we go. We're going to go ahead and get started. Um, again, it's going to include strawberries. So, what we're going to make today is my Hennessy. Cheesecake stuffed strawberries. Let's say it together. Hennessy cheesecake stuffed strawberries. What you're going to need for this dish is, of course, strawberries. And look at how big these motherfuckers is. I went to motherfucking Publix because that's one of my favorite stores to buy my fruits. So look at this big bitch right here. And they had some big ass strawberries. So you're going to need you about a dozen of nice 
side strawberries because you don't want to show up nowhere or you know be pooched up with your nigga or your woman with no old little mini ass miniature ass strawberries come out look, look, look what i made they should beat the fuck out you for showing that but anyway and i don't condone that but you know what i mean anyway so here is um some more strawberries you'll need strawberries so we'll go ahead and get that you will need a couple things um oh shit you're gonna need some cheesecake strawberry filling. Um, now I'm gonna show you how to doctor this shit up because you don't need to be sitting up in the kitchen making a whole ass motherfucking mixture of cheesecake for this. You can use this and I'm gonna show you how to doctor this shit so it can taste right. It's gonna taste like my shit and it's good. So the cheesecake filling, they got this over there by the Philadelphia cream cheese shit. Some Heath crumbles or snacks or whatever the fuck you want to call it. Heath. Heath. You hear it? Heath. Some vanilla extract for when you doctor that shit up. Of course, you're going to need some graham, cracker, uh, graham crackers or graham cracker crumbs. You can't do cheesecake nothing without graham crackers. You're going to need some sugar. Because, again, I doctor my cheesecake up. And I use this magic shell for my dessert or for my drizzle and for my decorations. Kind of make them chocolatey or whatever. I use this little bag for when I'm piping my motherfucking cheesecake into my strawberries. Now, you ain't got to have no bag or do all of those special shit. You can get you a spoon and spoon that shit in there. But me, I'm extra like that. I got a little couple OCD problems. I got to make sure my shit be in there right. But that's how that's going to go. And then finally, last but not motherfucking least, we will need some Hennessy. Now, y'all can see I done put a quite a few dents in this bottle. I've been hitting this bitch real hard. But it's enough for me to do what I need to do on today. So, you know, first lady drinks Hennessy. How about that? Okay, let's go ahead and get started. So, I'm going to put the camera down like I do and let you guys see how this is about to go down. Okay? So, the first so thing you want to do is, of course, um, cut the tops off, but be really careful not to go too deep into the strawberry. Cut it off. That green part, you don't need that. Just cut that off and then you'll see um, the inside of it, which that is going to come out in a minute too. But then I also cut the bottom off as even as possible so that they will stand up so I can get you to see it so it can stand up like oh what did no one stand up I guess so it can stand up like so not all of them not all of them will want to stand up like that so it'll be fine as long as you know I told you I got a problem I like to have my shit to be a certain type of way but we're not gonna talk about that anyway we're gonna go ahead and cut these tops off and then cut the bottoms off and then I will go ahead and show you how to um, gut them out Again, we're gonna we're gonna cut this one here to get that stand up. All right, so we go ahead got all these tips, the tops cut off and the bottoms cut off, and there you go. So you want to have like about a dozen of these. You can make as many as you want, but I am going to make a dozen because I want to make six with the Hennessy and six without, and that is because I have a nine-year-old daughter and we don't need her to be around here lit. Okay, so. Basically, you take a strawberry. You see, the, the there it kind of gives you the outline that you need. You want to just cut as much of the white middle part out as possible. Just like that. Cut that out, and then you have a hollowed strawberry, okay? You don't have to get it all as big unless you just want to have an old flimsy-ass strawberry because it's going to work out. You know, you can go in and cut as much, cut a little bit out more. But you want to have a hollowed strawberry, okay? So go ahead and knock those out as so. Alright, so once you get these all hollowed out like this, make sure you get down in there so you can be able to get some, oh, get some goddamn cheesecake in there. Once you get these all hollowed out like this, you can set these to the side. And get to working on doctoring up. Let me get that piece out of there. You can get set these to the side and get to working on doctoring up your cheesecake filling. So basically, you just take this filling. Now, I'm, I have a separate bowl because, again, I'm making some with Hennessy and some without. That's how it looks. It just looks like cheesecake. And it's actually quite good like this, but... You know me, I gotta do my own shit. So I'm gonna take, I'll just kinda go in and stir. Sorry about shaking the table. Take a couple big spoons 
of this and add that over there because what I'm getting ready to do to both of these is take your vanilla extract and or vanilla flavoring and add a cap full maybe a half over here because it's not as much and you want to go ahead and add about I'm eyeballing this with about two tablespoons of sugar and a little bit less over here because that's a little less in the bowl and you take that and you stir that up that makes it a little sweeter and a little bit more richer again you don't have to do that you can use this straight out the goddamn uh, bowl but I do that because I like to add my own personal spin to it okay so just mix that up real good like so that's ready to go and also I didn't want to um, I'm about to add the Hennessy to this one over here I don't want to add that to this because this you can keep if you don't have enough strawberries you can also keep um, this you know for another time and the next time you make it you may not need Hennessy in it because you might be making it for a group of church mothers or something well, hell, they probably need the tendency too, but we ain't gonna get it there. But anyway, so we're gonna go ahead now with this one because we're gonna, we're gonna, what we're gonna, oh, excuse me, what we're gonna do, we're gonna take, I had to make sure I was still recording this shit because this bitch played me earlier today. But anyway, take a cap full or more, but you don't want a soup, you don't want nothing soupy, but you can take a cap full of this Hennessy here, and then that's for this amount that I have over here. Over there, you probably want two capsules if you making your whole motherfucking thing of this. And you mix this up. Oh, that smells good, baby. It smells like on the rocks. It smells good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, boo. Yeah. That part. Okay? So you got that going. So, now, you also want to get your graham crackers prepped. Because you don't, you know, you can go ahead and, and get that prepped. So, I just basically will need about, for a dozen of strawberries, you need probably about two long uh, strips or pieces of this graham cracker. You know how they come. So, I guess just two like this. You'll need that. And we grab something too. I'm going to use my daughter's bowl, but I'm sure she doesn't mind. <laughs> so we take that and you just basically just crumble that up. Take out your stress and frustration on this motherfucking graham cracker right here. Crumble that up into crumbs. You know, big like so. cracker on top of a damn strawberry or whatever. So crumble that up like so. Set that to the side. You want to get all your shit in order so... You know, you be good or whatever. So, we're going to go ahead and I'm going to put these strawberries in this my hand. I'm going to put the strawberries that are going to be Hennessy specific on this plate over here. Make sure they're standing up. Okay, so these are going to be the ones for Hennessy. So let me tell you what to do with those. You take your Hennessy again and you take a cap full and you begin to pour a little bit into your strawberries or onto your strawberries that are going to have the Hennessy in them. And a cap full is plenty, but you can add as much as you want, but you don't want to have a big ass cup, a shot cup of a strawberry of a fucking pizza of some Hennessy, because you won't be able to get none of this other shit in there. So those are ready to go. So what we're going to do now, we're going to take some of our Hennessy specific 
cheesecake. And put that on off up in here. To this Ziploc baggie. Go ahead and direct that shit down to this corner here. Take your knife, slit that in, twist the top, and go ahead and pipe that in there like so. That makes it so much easier and so much cleaner when you do it that way. And there you have your Hennessy strawberries. Okay? Now, the fun part. You take your chocolate drizzle. And you drizzle over each one, uh, over these several times, like so. You take your graham cracker crumbs, you sprinkle that on there, like so. much as you want and then finally you take your toffee chips and you sprinkle those that adds a little bit of character a little bit of a bite a little bit of sexiness to them and there you have it for your Hennessy Oh, they fall over, but it's okay. Hennessy Cheesecake Strawberries. So I'm going to go ahead and take care of the other ones. These can go in the refrigerator. It's a piece of uh, toffee up under it. So that won't let it stand up, but that's fine because you see how they lay it down and they stay as, as normal. Put these in the refrigerator. The chocolate will kind of firm up on it, which makes it even better. Put them in a the refrigerator or you can put them in a the freezer overnight and then take them out before you get ready to serve them. So we'll go ahead and stick these in there. We grab another spoon for the non Hennessy specific for our non-drinkers and our church mothers. And we're going to do the same thing to this batch. So we're going to go ahead. We got them hollowed out. We will take. We meant we, you know, we skipped the Hennessy step. So we're going to take our Ziploc bag. I have a clean one. And we're going to. Add our cheesecake oh, to this bag. Get it down into that edge. Twist that top. Take your knife and slit that. Slit the motherfucker if it just slit. And then you go ahead and you fill your strawberries. Pipe them on in there. Oops. Pipe them on in there. And you take your chocolate drizzle. Drizzle that on there. Your graham cracker crumbs. A lot of people say the graham cracker is the best part. So we go ahead and add that graham cracker to that. And we add our toffee chips. Again, we go ahead, put this in the refrigerator. Let it chill out for about 10 minutes. If you're gonna eat them right away, let them chill for about 10 minutes. 
Um, that way the, the chocolate can firm up on them and they get them nice and cold and oh baby. After 10 minutes, you come back and you go, you good to go. Or you can freeze them overnight for an event the next day. So let me go ahead and get these in there. Okay, so it's been about 10 minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and get a batch of these strawberries out of this refrigerator. And, oh, look at that. You see those strawberries there? Cheesecake, graham cracker crumbs, toffee chips, Hennessy. Let me go ahead and taste one of these for y'all. Look at that. Look at that. Mmm. Mmm. I could eat this whole fucking plate, but I'm not. Oh my God, in the toffee, you can taste that caramel buttery taste. And then the crunch of that, give the, the grand cracker give it a little crunch. The tart from the strawberry, the sweet from the cheese, cheesecake. Oh my God, just go ahead and make these, boom. The chocolate on top just sets it all off. Thank y'all so much for tuning in to yet another episode of Cooking Up and Pumps with Mr. Robert DeMarco. Again, please like, share, and subscribe. Um, please let somebody know and let somebody else know and let somebody else know that it's a crazy motherfucker who will be on YouTube cooking in heels, doing crazy shit, however you wish to say it. Please let's spread the word, baby. Because I'm only trying to make people be inspired and be and be able to love themselves and, and have a good time and be able to turn on the computer and just say, let me look at Robert because maybe he'll just make me laugh or something for the moment because I'm having a... That's what I'm here for. So... Do what you got to do. Spread the word. I love y'all. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. I'm about to get into these motherfucking strawberries again. Um, yeah. Say bye, first lady. Bye. Bye-bye, first lady.